Hello and welcome to Smitty's. I am a wood cutting fanatic who loves to run a chainsaw. I run alcohol chainsaws, ported chainsaws, I race chainsaws, and I even run the occasional video. Now remember, I cannot do this without you. You're everything to the channel, so please remember, subscribe, give that thumbs up, leave that comment. Today, we are going to have a lot of fun. So how you doing? Hey, today muffler came over and we had a little bit of fun so he has a 2511 an echo 2511 that he did up and we just you know he decided to bring it up and we we, we played with it i had some trees that were that have been down up here for a couple of months and decided you know what let's take it up and put it to work so that's what we did uh little trees you know what i mean but uh just some stuff we were cleaning up but then after that we got to work in the shop here so Let's get into the action with the 2511. It has been modified. Uh, so get a clue or two on there, where to go to figure that information out. But otherwise, yeah, check it out. And then we'll come in and I'll show you some of the work we did to the shop. Alrighty. Smells like it. It's sassy fresh. Yep. Oh wow, I get to be a video man. Hi, Smitty. Yeah.
But the thing is, as I told everybody, there's no transparency now, friends. Because if you want to see how one of these are built, you have to go watch Bellhopper McCullough Chainsaw. So if you come to an event or something, he'll tell you about all the stuff he does. And it's actually stupid, stupid simple to make one of these run the way it does. Like, what, like I'm not going to tell you, but I told Smitty, when you take one apart, it's like stupid simple. Let's cut up the sassafras. All right. You want to cut it or you want me to cut it? I'll cut it. You want to run it some? Great little climbing saw. Great little saw for just what we're doing. They're $500 new, but... big Smitty's hand is compared to that chainsaw. Look, it's like my hand's big, but his are like freaking catcher's mitts. Look. <laughs> it's like a lightsaber. Ah! Okay. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit fat yet, but yeah, but I don't I don't want to go too lean with that pipe. It's a closed port 25cc non clam shell saw. Now Smitty wants one, don't you? Not really. I'll just borrow yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Alrighty. Yeah, we did a little work to the shop. Uh, I got those switches in. I don't have any staples for the wires. So I'll have to get for that. See the switches over yonder there. Got them in. Uh, put some... Those fluorescent lights used to be on the other side of the room. I just moved them over here. But we got the rest of the Celotex in the ceiling. So, yeah, uh, you see, I added some receptacles. I got them all wired in. They're ready to, they're live. They're ready to go and rock and roll. We can use them. So, yeah, we got a bit of work done today. Got the ceiling all cellotext and we got some wood cut, you know. Uh, probably going to get a bunch of duct tape and tape all the cracks. You know, these things are a little chunky. So, 
I think I could improve a little bit if I just duct tape all the cracks, if you know what I mean. So yeah, we had a good day of progress today. Got some wood cut, got some shop work done, and we got some more plans made for what we're gonna do moving forward. Uh, finally made a decision what I'm gonna do here about doors. We're not gonna have doors. I'm putting a wall up. I'm gonna go get the metal and basically copy what the rest of the building is. We are gonna close off the first two bays there and then we're gonna leave the third one for a door. So I don't need three bays to, you know, if I ever pull a vehicle in here, I'm only gonna use, you know, the one bay. So we're just gonna close off the first two bays and turn the third bay into like a garage door. So that's our plan. So now I just gotta scrounge up some metal and you know, at least we got a plan on how to move forward. Now I can tell you, now that the ceiling is all in, I'm actually starting to notice a temperature difference in the building now. It's not much, but I'm starting to notice it. Five, 10 degrees maybe between in the building and outside. So, I mean, if it's 20 degrees outside, it's only gonna be maybe 30 in the building. You know, it's not doing that much. So we just gotta get these walls up and that door up. And then I think that's where we're gonna notice the biggest difference. But uh, as soon as we get those materials in, we'll get to work on it. So. Hey, hope you enjoyed this little video and we'll catch you in the next one. Later.